Hi, I'm Jake, an Applications Engineer with Tektronix. Today, we'll be talking about some of the differences between TSP and SCPI. SCPI stands for Standard Commands for Programmable Instruments. This is a command set found in most modern instrumentation. It's used to configure and run remote tests over the bus, such as GPIB or USB. TSP stands for Test Script Processor. This is also a command set, but is exclusive to the newer product line of Keithley instrumentation. What's special about TSP is that you can also make use of the onboard processor on these TSP-enabled instruments. This allows you to uh, configure and load your test uh, locally on the instrument and run it from the instrument without needing to use the bus or an external PC. You also get the benefit of using uh, Lua-based programming language. This lets you integrate your commands with uh, other great options like variables, functions, and standard programming syntax like for loops or if statements. In a moment, we're going to go over a short example that shows the differences in real time. Now we're going to look at an example comparing SCPI to TSP. We're going to run a voltage sweep from 1 to 20 volts in 101 steps. We're going to start with our SCPI program written in Python and communicating over USB. We're only going to be able to print the readings, that's the current data, in our Python console in this example. And all of our processing and calculation is going to be done on the computer over Python. Let's start the sweep. Now we're going to run the same sweep using a TSP program loaded onto the instrument so that it's entirely run from the instrument, not needing a computer. We'll start our script and you'll see we'll run through the same sweep, 1 to 20 volts and 101 steps, but on the instrument it's going to do some calculation and processing to determine the resistance from the voltage and current that we receive and it displays the average resistance down at the bottom screen. What's great about TSP is you can also use any of these data points uh, in other functions and scripts, call this data, and perform other tests based on the data that you receive for more complex processing, all just on the instrument itself. We've now discussed some of the differences between TSP and a CPI, and we've taken a look at a real-world example. If you think TSP could be of use in any of your applications, please check us out at tech.com.